And hello, hello. Welcome and welcome in. This is Magic. We're playing more talented today. Which is a game that we haven't played in a while on the channel, so I figured, hey, let me showcase some runs on it. Right? It got a bunch of updates. This is the 0.13.29 update. <laughs> Patch, whatever you want to call it. And we're just going to head for a new run with the wizard on Mastery 10. I've been playing a little bit here and there of it. I mean, we're going to go to 11. After night 10, enemy waves spawn 3% more frequently after each night. On top of that, we've got the gifted talent, which starts the run at level 5. And we gain an additional 5 levels at the start of night 10. Aside from that, we also have 50% bonus damage to enemies with our abilities and the Cyclone ability. Fantastic. I'm just gonna go with the default skin here and head right into it. For anyone that doesn't know what this game is, this is a... I want to say Bullet Heaven game, but it's not really a Bullet Heaven game, you know? As you can see, there's a conveyor belt of death here. That enemies will come... Like, enemies will come towards us. And we'll have to shoot them. The wizard over here is not the strongest in terms of attack speed or damage, but... And we don't have too much range either. But we do have powerful abilities that we can use, and we can use them whenever we have enough mana for that, and whenever of cooldown. Each night we gain talent points based on how many levels we've risen, and a new modifier will appear, which is random per night. So now we'll get monks as enemies as well. Over here is our talent tree, and the talent tree is procedurally generated, which I find very interesting, personally. And as you can see right there, we went for some experience up, Mana, experience up, ability power up, attack speed, and mana regen. I'm gonna go for more mana and attack speed over here as well, which will help us. There's also some rare talents over here, uh, and epic terror talents. There's also legendary talents that will work towards another time, you know, once we know where those are, kind of. And as such, we'll just continue on as per usual. As you can see, our attack speed got a bit faster. Our attack range is not quite there yet, though. I'm just gonna shoot our Cyclone over here. We're just gonna deal some damage and also drag enemies that do survive around for a while. Since we've got more ability damage, we will be able to just kill them in one shot using this. For now, at least. Later, they'll have more maximum health. Enemies gain 10% more speed, and also we've got 5 talent points. So, let's go up here. Get the experience up to health ups. We'll get double up, which creates two orbs that permanently orbit us. And we'll also get some mana regen over here. And move on. Now these orbs will deal damage. They deal three damage each. And we have two of them. As you can see on our stats below the experience stat. So right now we're doing good. Just gotta keep not getting hit because we'll get an experience multiplier in those cases. Like, if we don't get hit, you know, we have an experience multiplier, which is pretty good. And yeah, five more points. It's very early in the morning here. I'll take uh, some lower cooldowns and untamed knowledge. On level up, you have a 15% chance to fire a random ability with no magic cost. Nice. Um, 
I'm gonna go for the health up and then the extra experience over here because more experience means more talent points, you know? As we head towards... And that means possibly more level ups, meaning... We'll shoot abilities in a random direction again. But as you can see, enemies are a bit tankier now. So it takes a bit longer for us to defeat them. And we reach level 26 right at the end there. Got seven talent points. We could go for some more mana regen this way. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the attack speed here. Low cooldowns, experience up. And full house. Learn for a random ability. If you're learned for abilities, then ability cooldowns are reduced by 20%. And your magic point regeneration rate is increased by 20%. We got Backtrack. Reduce the remaining cooldown of all other abilities by 8%. Nice. Um, let's go for Ethereal Knowledge over here. On level up, create two elemental sprites in random lanes. And we'll go for some attack speed over here so that we gain access to this. Over here is a mystery talent. We don't know what it is until we get it. And over here, where there's a talent package, which makes it so that unlearned common talents become rare talents from one of many packets. So that's cool. We'll look into that. Different archetypes, so to speak, essentially. But the extra attack speed is helping us a bunch here. We're just going to send out our Cyclone whenever we can. We paralyze that enemy right there. And as you can see, more and more elites are spawning too, which is going to be rough to deal with. But right now, we're dealing with them quite well. The abilities that we have have to be used manually. And as you can see, those black elites spawn a fly. The other ones are tougher or have more health, etc. You know, there's a lot of stuff. Um, gonna go for the cooldowns, health up, MP regen, learn random nearby talent. Fantastic. Gain 15% more experience on kills with abilities. So that's all the way over there. And then. We could go for this already. Uh, let's just go for it. In your element, more sprites. For science, learn faster and bend the rules of a talent tree. Or power hungry, clear the screen with powerful abilities. Let's go with that. I think it works in our favor. If we learned it. And then now we can go for arcane wisdom. All ability hits deal 4 bonus damage to elite enemies. Or after casting an ability, killing 10 or more enemies within 2 seconds restores 5 magic points. Let's go with Arcane Wisdom for now and we'll get Flawless Execution afterwards. That said, um, this is only going to be useful once we have more abilities, so... Yeah. We lost our experience multiplier right there. Have to be careful of stuff like that. Okay, fantastic.
Whenever you use an ability, other abilities gain 100% bonus damage to enemies for 3 seconds. Is kind of useful, but... Let's get the experience ups over here. Attack speed and mana regen are kind of wisdom to deal bonus damage to elite enemies, since we're getting a lot of those. Lightning crash over here is also quite useful. Um, I'll just get spell first for now. It's not going to be that useful, but... Not just yet, at least. We're taking a lot of damage here. We have to be a bit careful about that. We send on another tornado upwards thanks to our ability that sends um, an ability out at no cost whenever we level up. <clears throat> oh boy, that was actually quite close. We have to be a bit careful here. Eight talent points. Um, I would love to grab this one, the Blast Nova. We'll get some experience over here as well. And this costs two points. We could alternatively look at lowering cooldown some more. I think that's going to be very useful, but our mana is going to be a bit of a problem. Either way, killing enemies after ability cast gives MP. Is very nice, but Blast Nova is really strong as an ability. Just do that real quick. Hope for our abilities to regenerate, like our mana to regenerate as we go here. Okay, nice. We got two level ups at the end there. Uh, we're gonna get Flawless Execution here. And... I'm gonna grab Lightning Crash. We're just gonna make it so that our Magic Point Regeneration Rate is increased by 20% and we have 20% more cooldowns. Or, or cooldown reduction. And then... Maximum Mana is also valid. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for the mana region over here. Spell first and straight flush over here are gonna be amazing pickups next night though. So we'll keep those in mind. That's not great that we took damage this early on already. And now our mana is used up. And we died. And that's just how fast it goes. Sometimes l you lose. When we make some progress, we can experience that way. New core talent gained. Ooh, core talents can be chosen on the run setup screen. Cyclone's range is halved, but it applies shock to enemies after it fizzles out. Cyclone deals two more damage and has one more range. Got it. 
let's go back over here to the screen. Begin the run. Oh, and it changes based on the ability we've got. So we could select Fireball instead, which shoots a fireball that deals 10 damage and applies burning. Fireball pieces enemies dealing 8 less damage per additional target hit, evaporating at 0 damage. Fireball deals 10 more damage, and the cooldown is reduced by 2 seconds. Hmm. Could go for that. On level up, restore 5 magic points. Also very, very interesting. But Gifted is so much stronger, I think. Um... Deal 2 more damage with the Cyclone and have more, one more range sounds really nice for us. So we're gonna go for that real quick. And head right into the next night here. Um, I like this game a lot because it has so many options for builds that you can go for. And also the runs don't take too long, which is very good. And it's very easy to get, head right back into a run. But yeah, today's gonna be a wizard episode. And we'll just play a bunch here. Eight talent points. Right away we can go for efficacy. Gain 20% more experience from killing enemies with any status effects on them. Hmm. I'll go for the extra experience over here and the mana region. Over your mana region as well. Efficacy is going to be useful eventually. Just right now we don't apply any status effects just yet. But we're heading into the next night. We're going to speed up the game a little bit here. And there's rats. These were added since the last time I played, you know. When I played a, a while ago, you know, I... Rats weren't in the game. Stupid rats dodging our hits. How dare. Fantastic. Got five town points. Gonna use them wisely on more magic, more ability power, more magic. Like, that's more mana, essentially. I'm gonna go for cooldowns and experience here as well. Could have gone for mana and experience, but I think it's. I also want for mana region down there. So might as well go for it. start we knock him back a little bit so I shot one to the right there then finish off a, a enemy on the left because it's closer and then did that um, takes some time getting back into the groove I guess Ooh, frosty orbs let's go for the attack speed I got sorcerer achievement for learning 2500 talent totals um, so we got some mana regen and attack speed over here. I'm gonna go for the magic up and double up, which is gonna add two. That's two permanent orbs to our vicinity. We're just gonna deal some damage. You know, it's gonna deal three damage to enemies. It passes through each orb. Oh, that's bad. They are so dead. Hey, we at least killed some enemies on the left. No, no, it doesn't matter. <laughs> we could have had a good run, but I just misplayed a bunch there at the end. Which is fine, it happens, you know. Especially shooting that Cyclone to the right when 
my enemies were dead already on the right. That was a mis- like, to be fair. I'm just gonna speed up the game uh, again for the first few waves of the night. Play. <clears throat> More experience, experience, cooldown, cooldown, magic up, mana up, region. Um, double up over here, so we're gonna go for more health as well. We got that loop dead. Typically not super efficient to do so, but getting more maximum health is never bad. Yeah, we'll do that real quick. <clears throat> nice. Got five town points yet again. We'll go for some health. Um, uh, no, magic, magic. Magic. Double up. And a mystery town, which is going to be more magic. So we'll have 45 mana over here and 35 health. As well as two orbs. I like the orbs a lot. There we go. So yeah, ran uh, uh, randomized enemy waves each night. Took damage there, which is unfortunate because we could have had an experience multiplier there, I think. Had we not taken damage. Um, got a more experience over here. Uh, I'm gonna go for efficacy, attack speed, um, cooldowns, and magical hat. We're just gonna learn a random ability on the. It's most of the time it's rare. I think it's always rare, in fact, because you invest the point to get access to a different set of a tree. And over here, we can get some mana regen again, if we wanted to. Over here is evocation. Whenever you cast a spell, you reduce the cooldown of other spells that are on cooldown by two seconds. Very nice. And a town package up there. Over here, we've got also straight flush, so we're going to look forward to getting that eventually. Um, for now, though, we'll have to try and survive a night. There's a uh, higher difficulty. It gets harder and harder on higher ascension levels. Obviously. I find the game fairly challenging. Like, it took me a while to get a win on a variety of classes. But then, over time, like, I learned, oh yeah, this is good, this is bad, you know. I feel like the abilities are pretty balanced and everything can work out in a way. Uh, but you don't get, like, super overpowered, you know. I mean, sometimes you do, but not always. Let's go with cooldowns, ability damage up, experience, health, cooldowns, attack speed. Over there, we've got double up and straight flush on this end, so we'll have to make our way wrap around this way for that. We're looking forward to double up and the town package. Town package is a great way to pretty early on set a certain build. We just took two hits for that elite, uh, for that rat, which is unfortunate. That's not good, with half health. Last enemies right there. That was not great. Attack speed, health up, double up, experience. We can't get the town package just yet. So what I'll do instead is I'll get... Um... 
just the exact experience over here. I think that's fine. We've got four orbs now, which are going to help us out a bit, as you can see right there. Wow. Of course. I couldn't pass fast enough, man. Some of my coffee. I need some coffee after that one. I wonder if I can play with controller, to be honest, and if that's better, possibly even. Okay, so A for the one uh, ability. Turn points. We got straight flesh over here. Experience, cooldowns, experience, mana region, damage, attack speed, and more attack speed. I think is all good. Like we want some basic stats early on. Like straight flesh does uh, is okay. It's great as an ability, but. As it stands, like, it doesn't give us much value. Like, later on is amazing, because it gives you ability power based on how many abilities you have. But we only have one, you know? Mixer X attack speed, though, is great for us. gonna attack that one again with an ability because it's taking its sweet time to get to us um cooldowns attack speed health untamed knowledge on level up you have a 15% chance to fire a random ability with no magic cost fantastic it's a lot of experience ups over here so we're gonna go this way now get double up too soon I like double ups I like the orbs uh, we got evocation up there, which is cool, but not super useful. S specifically because we only have one ability right now. As you can see, we have a little bit of an AoE on our attack. And even while it fizzles out, like when it fizzles out, it will still deal some damage to a degree, which is nice. And knowing that extra bit of range is, I think, part of the skill expression in this game as well. Like knowing your character well, essentially. Nice. We get six more points. I'm gonna go for double up here, uh, extra experience. Mystery talent, mystery talent. We get some damage up and mana regen. Over here we've got magical hat, which is gonna be useful. And up there we have efficacy and a talent package. Lovely. Something that would synergize with orbs would be good, I guess. Because we do have two already.
We'll just take some damage there from the Elite, because why not? I guess we'll just take some damage there from the Elite. We need to stop wasting attacks that go into nothingness. Damage those. Bump them back into the orb. And we'll wait. We don't have enough mana to cast our Cyclone ability yet, but the orb will finish off that pumpkin head. And we'll get the cooldown reduction. We'll get. The location is okay. Uh, let's go with that for now. We get an ability all the way up here 15% more experience on kill with abilities. Fantastic. We do get Ring Theory over here, which is really nice. And Arcane Orbs, which makes it so that our we create an orb that permanently orbits you. It's just one. But additionally, your ability power strengthens your orbs damage, so they now deal four damage instead. Very nice. Uh, we're going to go for Mana and Cooldown Reduction right here, and just move alongside that to get Ring Theory, the ability. I think. I believe that um, town package is a bit of an investment right now. But we can't quite afford just yet. That's unlucky that we took some damage there, but we didn't lose our experience multiplier. Sometimes we don't lose it. I don't know why. <laughs> we gain more experience by killing it with an uh, ability, so that's fair. Um, mystery talent, mystery talent. More experience and ability power is amazing. Cooldown, Ring Fury. Creates an orb that orbits you until the end of the night. Your orb moves your orbs move closer for the next five seconds, which is very useful. Uh aside from that, we also have a 15% chance to fire a random ability with no MP cost, and that's all our points for now. And then we'll head over to the town package over here. So now we have four orbs until the end of the night. And through that level up, we now have five orbs. I'm gonna use Ring Fury whenever it's off cooldown. It's fine. We'll just go over here. Whenever you cast a spell, you reduce the cooldown of other spells that are on cooldown by two seconds is amazing for us right now because we want Ring Fury to be up a lot. And what we'll do is we'll go this way. Just say it access to the experience, both of these. You know, it doesn't make much of a difference. We get mana here and health here, mana here and health here. But this over here gives experience. This over here is also experience. So we can go this way. Make use of that, I guess. Did 
take out these enemies. Reduce the cooldown of our second ability. that one far away be gone squash there you go a ton of points gonna head up here and get burn baby burn the nucleus or shock and awe we want the nucleus it's all about a bunch of orbs all about that orb about that orb no dun dun um, as in, you can see, some of our orbs got rewritten. Atomized. Duplicate an orb until the end of the night. Your orb damage is increased by 5 for the, for five, for the next 5 seconds. Interesting. We'll always try to duplicate special orbs. Um, I guess I'll take that. And get the experience up. We'll later get orbular knowledge. Can an orb that permanently orbits you? On level up, your orbs gain 100% speed for the next two levels. Two seconds. And earthen orb over here, which creates a free earthen orb that permanently orbit you, knocking back enemies they hit. Very good. Very good stuff. Not gonna lie. Crystal orb over here is also pretty good. All orbs grant 20% more experience on kill. You know, nice stuff. good with no more mana though which kind of sucks fantastic level 56 we've got seven talents we survived night number nine um I'm gonna go for this so that we gain more experience from orb kills. I'll go for orbular knowledge. I'll go for the mystery talent and the earthen orbs right there. On top of that, um, we can get this crystal orb over here since we've got insight over here, you know, and then we can then get another crystal orb. Over here is the one ring. And then there's knowledge is power. Increase the experience grinded by all experience. Experience gems on the floor by 50%, which is cool as an ability. Uh, I'm not sure if it's what we want though. go we just gotta take care of enemies that come too close to us you know it's all we have to do we have one job and we'll use our abilities whenever they're off cooldown
Okay. Nice. We're killing that one with the expanding orbs. Uh, we'll go for a crystal orb over here. We've got 10 orbs now. We've got orbulent knowledge up this way too, so let's just go for that, I guess. And... But here's a Illuminate, which is fantastic. So I'm gonna go for that. Efficacy this way. We'll probably have to go around here to get to Illuminate, so... Here, there, and so on. Had to hydrate there for a little bit, you know? Had to drink something. Send out our cyclone to a top path. We'll take care of the others on these paths down here. Create some extra orbs in this direction. Fourteen talent points. So, to get over here, I think we'll need to take this path. I know we wasted an extra point when we could have just gone. No, actually, no. It would have been the same. All is good. Forget what I said. There we go. Now we gain 10% uh, more experience and we've got double light. <gasps> Blazing orbs. Ooh. That's fancy, and it does continue over there. So it is mana region. Fantastic. Magic, magic, pa ability, power. Lovely. So we can now see a lot more, which is fantastic, because knowledge is power. For this, we need five, because it's legendary. Five um, thingy magics. Town points. So, uh, knight... 11. Over there are skelly enemies, which will... Um, respawn after a while if we don't kill their remains. Aside from that, the mushroom enemies will buff other enemies. Two. As long as we can knock them back enough, you know, we're good here. I think. Moving on. We just kill those enemies right there. Get 12 town points because we just reached le night 11. Magical talent over here. Fantastic. Untamed knowledge. Straight flush. There's another town package over there. Um, we can go for this unlearned talent over here to get straight flush. 
It's going to be incredibly useful once we get a fourth ability, but I don't want magic missiles. Uh, magic missiles over here as well. I don't want it. <laughs> Please. Please. Okay, let's get some mana regen cooldown and more experience. We'll get another orb this way. We probably also could head for the double up this way where we get two more orbs. And we've got some orbular knowledge over here too. Mystery talent, and we can go for this ethereal knowledge as well. So, need to be aware of all the talents in the tree. This is nice. Increasing the chance for it to proc that ability would be amazing. I took damage there. I really didn't have to, but I still ended up taking damage there because I just didn't pay attention. My 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 mind wandered. I'll just quickly go ahead into the settings and turn on the game a bit because I've noticed recently that I've uh, been getting I've been been quite quiet a lot of the time in videos, and I need to be a bit aware of that. It's just the way it is, you know, sometimes there's just audio issues you don't notice until it's way too late. It can't be helped, I guess. So, what we're gonna do is... I'm gonna go up here because we get extra experience. I'm a fan of extra experience. Get arcane orbs over here as well. Meaning we start with 20 orbs and deal six damage. Um, experience, damage, experience, double up. We have untamed knowledge over here. I wish I could just look for. Over here's orbular knowledge, which is cool. It's just that got untamed knowledge over there. Um, what we could do is let's get more damage, I guess. Damage and attack speed seems fine. It's gonna speed up the game a little bit. Not too much. The extra speed is really good, actually. a lot of enemies coming in. There we go. We're staying at 30 orbs already.
Nice. We got a good chunk of experience points, like talent, uh, talent points over here. 12 right there. Uh, we had an ability somewhere that synergized quite well with everything. We duplicates orbs or tries to duplicate orbs. But I don't remember where it was. Um, there's obula knowledge. I guess I'll take it. Untamed knowledge, fantastic. Arcane orb, cooldown, attack speed, health, talent package. Grind them up, level up fast and power up your attacks. Power hungry, clear the screen with powerful abilities, shock and all. Let's go with grind them up, seems pretty funny. Your range is increased by 5% of your unspent talent points. At 25 unspent talent points, you basically attack pieces all enemies. Damn, that's an interesting path to go. We have none. Simple interest. At the start of each night, if you have at least one unspent talent point, you level up. Okay. Huh. I guess like investing into the future and saving interest. Frost Nova. Could swear there was an ability. Studies. Learning common talents is a 15% chance of refunding the cost. I'm going to go for that for sure. That's um, four points right there that we need to go for. Was it last run that we had an ability that copies our orb? Maybe so. Oh, whatever. It's gonna slow down the game again. We took a lot of damage there. Must have been an elite bat, I guess. Having this dense ring of orbs, you know, expand outwards from a narrow position is really, really good actually for damage too. go. Got 36 orbs already. 37. We do gain a lot of experience this way. Is fairly nice. That's night fifteen survived. We've got sixteen talent points. Um where was that thing we wanted? Right over here. We'll go with that, that and this. Yeah, we just procked it, which is nice. Uh, Obula knowledge, I'll go for it. We could go for this, which is whatever, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, let's just go for it. And then all these abilities will turn into uh, pass, like all the active abilities over right there will turn into passive ones. Um, that we can utilize better. Agile knowledge. On level up, gain 2% attack speed until the end of the night. 
Oh, interesting. Ethereal knowledge. Create two elementals that way. Straight flush is fantastic. Increasing our orb damage by four is big. Like, very big. Like, gee. Get some mana regen as well. This is gonna increase the value of those experience orbs right there. Activate your evocation trade, which is gonna lower the cooldowns whenever we use our cooldowns, I believe. If I remember correctly, that was evocation. It's a lot of experience we're getting this way. Just using it off cooldown is huge for us. And right there, before everything got collected, we just used it to get double experience from that. Or is it double? 50% uh, more experience. 1.5 times the experience. Look, who's counting? Got 43 orbs right now, and that's what we're counting. All that matters. And that's all our mana gone. Boop. 915 survived. We gain 19 town points. Fantastic. Um... Straight flush is cool, I think. Frosty orbs. They frostbite enemies, slowing their movement speed. In the process. There's another town package right here. I want to go for that magical hat too, though. Uh, what I'll go for is actually the ability power up over here, and then we can go this way to get the arcane orbs, which is going to increase our ability damage by a bunch, and then we can go for the town package, I think. There's the molds. I'm glad they don't appear as early anymore because they are annoying as heck. You know, digging to the ever uh, to the opposite side and whatnot. You know, bad stuff. Level up. Here we go. Got so much experience through that. We're already at level 160. There we go. Nice. Night 16 survived. We gained 19 points. 
gonna go for a town package over here we see cold as ice apply frostbite more often and enhance its power pa look we've got frostbite on our orbs enemies affected by frostbite take an additional six uh damage from all sources got another thing over here got more untamed knowledge here so i'm just gonna go for it we got a refund from one of our abilities right there full house is fantastic so i'm just gonna go for that real quick so from there we got winter's chill over here and we could unlock that untamed knowledge again crystal wand there's another orb here shatter they take additional damage from all sources. That's going to be amazing with our orbs, isn't it? Like, we've got some frosty orbs, you know, which will apply frostbite. But on top of that, we also have... Like... You know, we'll deal more damage, meaning we can kill stuff faster, meaning we get level up so that we can gain more stuff. Meaning we can apply more frostbite because they'll spin faster from our abilities being cast and whatnot and us leveling up and whatnot. I'm not sure if we got the perk already or if we wanted to get it next time, but... Like, the incre No, no, we got it already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The increase in mana region and cooldown reduction. Good shit. Oh my god, just look at what 50 orbs look like over there. When they retract. Oh, that's so... Fun, I don't know. It looks really cool, like some mandala stuff, you know? Um, More damage. Frostbite slows by an additional 25%. Is amazing, I want that. Shatter is great. We get more ability power. Winter's Call. Um, Shatter. Untamed Knowledge over here. Mana, Health, Mana Region, Arcane Orbs. I'm just going to increase the damage further. I just noticed that doesn't work. Like, it works retroactively. It doesn't work, like, whenever you get power up, which is... A bit unfortunate, but also totally understandable, because that would be incredibly broken. Like, if you gain more ability power, it's not going to do that. Crystal Bond, your basic attacks have a 12% chance to find an additional Ice Bolt that applies Frostbite. Is perfectly great in my book. And we'll get some mana regen over here. I was hoping that it would apply maybe the thing again that makes it so that we get a refund. On common talents. Untamed knowledge with knowledge as power is fantastic, in my opinion. Uh, knowledge as power being. Yeah, our ability, our fourth ability over here, which gives us a 50% more experience. Like, it activates sometimes, and then it has a chance to proc again due to knowledge, uh, due to untamed knowledge. We just grind through them.
It appears that 50 is, by the way, the maximum of orbs that we can get. We shoot so quickly, man. I'm still gonna use Ring Fury, though. As a means to reduce the cooldown of stuff. But also to get it, like, closer to us. But it also gets used up automatically as well, so perhaps we shouldn't use it as much. Uh, we got that already. We got Agile Knowledge, which is nice. Um... Simple interest is cool, I guess. Yeah, I think simple interest is actually really good. Double up up here. Ethereal knowledge. I think that's worth it. Especially since we get some other stats along the way. Straight flush. Gained another 60% ability damage. Uh, the ability power. Over here we've got Ethereal Knowledge. We level up quite a lot, so... Oh, we should have kept one point since we would make use of the... Other thing. There we go. Having them close to me, you know, does so much more damage. We took a bunch of damage there because an, a, a mole got through. There's 50. 50 seems to indeed be the max. That's our ability getting used automatically, by the way. Over here. But since we've reached the maximum... I might as well just stop, refrain from using it. And instead, we'll focus on using the other ones. Fantastic. And the final night is upon us. Uh, what I'll do is I'll get the experience, magic, mana region, uh, arcane orbs, attack speed, shatter. Then... Is there a world where we can reach that? Experience. Yes, double up is good, I guess. That's two points, and we'll just leave it at that. Confirm. We, we level up immediately. Because of that. Which is a good stat, I think. I think it's a good strat to level up immediately due to simple interest. Synergize with our level up effects gives us some attack speed for the night immediately. Even though we're at level 230 and ex gaining experience gets harder. I'm just permanently buffing my orb damage with uh, third ability and then reducing the cooldown with our first ability whenever I need it. Okay. And we win those. You are truly talented. Mastery 11 survived. Fantastic. And we've unlocked Mastery Level 12. Great. And now we can head into Nightmare Mode, which is new. 
And essentially lets us continue from here. Where we left off. You know, it just goes on forever. But it also has all enemies. Enemies get a lot stronger. Le uh, Philosopher achievement reached level 250 in a run. Nice. So it just spawns all enemies that can spawn, including bosses, like that spiky blob over there. Our attack speed is going bonkers. We took some damage here from those rats. Sadly, don't have any way to regenerate health, actually. Not I think about it. And increase our damage again. Oh boy. Survive 90 seconds in the eternal nightmare. It is getting harder and harder to survive though. We need to keep it tight. A tight ship, so to speak. Reach level 300. Reach a truly talented combo. Oh, there's the frames. And we died there. We have to keep it permanently tight, you know. We survived for 148 seconds, got some more experience, reached level 14 as the wizard. That's class experience right there. I believe we get another talent, like another talent tree unlock um, in the uh, class over here. Yeah, at level 15 we get another common talent over here. Level 12 at the start, like uh, 12, mastery 12 is going to make it so that at the start of each night we lose 25% of our maximum health, which was already a thing uh, over here. Yeah, less health points, you know, it happens again. So we lose, I think we lose half. Yeah. Yeah, we lose half of our HP just at the start of a night. It's going to be rough. But yeah. That right there at the end was um, Nightmare Mode. We just got the Asphodel achievement for surviving 90 seconds in the Eternal Nightmare. And r r the Guru achievement for reaching level 300 in a run. Which is a lot. Anyways, if you want to check out the game for yourself, there's a link to it in the description. I highly recommend checking out the game. I, I, it's one of the best purchases I've made in recent years, honestly. And I live it to it. It's a great game. And on top of that, it doesn't have just the wizard, you know. There's challenges as well where you can unlock skins and whatnot, you know. I've got the summoner over here, for instance, who, you know, looks typically like this, but I, I love the skeleton skin a lot. Who summons snails and other critters, you know, to do your bidding and has lifesteal. There's the bandit who is incredibly difficult, actually, and has this gold drop ability. And you basically shoot out these, this gold coin that scales with your damage, for instance. And you can, in your talent tree, spend the gold that drops from enemies in shops. Shop talents, essentially. He has limited ammo, so he has to reload every now and then. But, um, you basically can buy talents using coins, too, which is quite interesting. We've got the warrior who's melee but can be overwhelmed for instance and generates rage which he uses for his abilities 
And then there's the wizard, obviously, who has mana. And over here is the archer as well, who has li limited charges on each ability, but these charges replenish at the end of each time. So you can only use them so many times unless you find batteries and other skills and whatnot. It's a fast ranging, a uh, fast shooting, low, like, like, it's basically a glass cannon character. It's pretty cool, in my opinion. And then there's a new character as well. And to unlock that character, the Alchemist, we have to uh, reach mastery level 15 and complete the game on that. And right now, we're mastery level 11. So that's something that I'll still try to do. But yeah, um, Talented truly is a very, very good game. And it's an early access, it's getting frequent updates that add a lot to the game. I highly recommend checking it out. There's also a Discord that you can join. There's also, you know, uh, go check out the Steam page. Uh, it's like three bucks or something like that. And the music, the aesthetic, the gameplay, it's a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. Anyways, I had a fantastic time today. I hope you enjoyed yourselves as well. If you want to see more talented, let me know. I, I, I love this game. Look. Uh, so, yeah, let me know and I'll play more if you want to see any specific classes or any specific builds, you know, leave a comment. And if you liked what you saw here, leave a comment, leave a like, um, subscribe, <laughs> I don't know, currently 99% of viewers are not subscribed, which is funny, because I finally unlocked the statistics for that. <laughs> But I have no clue how to do this. I don't know how to plug myself. Um, 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 either way, it's all fun and games. If you want to stop by the Twitch channel, check out my blog, join my Discord, come hang out with us. I had a fantastic time today. I hope you had a fantastic time as well. I'll see you around. Until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>